And I believe of all the virtues, <clears throat> or all the fruits of the Holy Spirit, joy is one of the most elusive fruits. Because it's something that everyone seeks after, but so few are able to grasp it and hold it. It's one of those ones that as soon as you get it, it slips out your hand. It's like those, those, those slinky things. As soon as you grab it, it goes away and it disappears and you spend your whole life chasing it. Part of the problem in the search for joy is that we sometimes confuse joy and happiness. Okay? Joy and happiness are not the same thing. And the difference between joy and happiness is in the source of them. Happiness, a wise man once said, happiness comes from happenings. Okay? Said another way, happiness is external. It's outer stuff. I wake up, the sun is shining, I'm happy. It rains, I'm not happy. I go to work, I get a promotion, I'm happy. I go to work, I get fired, I'm not happy. Someone says a compliment to me, happy. Someone says a not nice word, not happy. Happy, you have no control over. Joy, on the other hand, is not from the outside in, but from the inside out. Because the source of joy is God himself. And the source of joy in our life is the presence of God. One of the church fathers was writing about joy. And he says that joy transcends the circumstances and events and disasters of life. Joy transcends it. Joy is above it. Then he goes on to say, I like the sentence, joy is the divine dimension of life. Joy is the divine dimension of life. Why? Because it is not affected by rain or sun, by lottery or poverty, by promotion or demotion. How can you tell that God wants us to be full of joy and every single day to live, I'll give you a hint, in joy? Don't we say in the liturgy, we get it from the Bible, of course, that He formed us, He created us, and He placed us where? in the paradise of joy, or other translations, the paradise of delight. The Garden of Eden, when God created Adam and Eve, the garden was known as the Garden of Joy or the Garden of Delight. And it wasn't until we fell for the guile of the serpent that we were exiled out of the paradise of joy. But God designed this life to be joy 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, when it's rainy or when it's sunny, when I'm being promoted and when I'm being demoted, when I'm being praised and when I'm being cursed, I should have joy in my life. The point I want to get to is where the outside does not affect the inside. That I can have joy and I can rejoice and I can smile and I can sing and not just in an outside way, not in like a insincere, I'm so happy when I'm really miserable. That I can have true joy despite any external circumstances. What I want to get to is I want to get to the point, like St. Paul said, a commandment, Philippians 4.4, 4, Rejoice in the Lord always, again I will say rejoice.